ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Team Holly YouTube channel. And don't pay attention right now to what the camera angle is because this is a bit different. It's a webcam because the battery is exhausted of the regular camera that I use, but I do want to get this video out for you guys. So we're taking the alternative route. Meh. Is it okay for you guys? I don't know. Anyway, don't watch really what's going on in the background. The video is going to be about the common mistakes that FIFA players make. And I'm going to try and show you the couple of mistakes that I think a lot of players make, especially in Weekend League when you play against them. Um, and what you should be doing in these kind of situations. To just give you a bit more insights about FIFA and how you should approach certain situations. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, put the notification bells on if you don't want to miss anything. And like always, you just sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay, so starting off with the first thing that really does happen a lot if you play Weekend League. Um, and that is stepping out with your center backs. Well, being too aggressive at least. Because I think a lot of players actually forget the importance of their center backs. And even pro players, uh, especially when you're not maybe entirely focused, you just switch to your center backs and you pressure on the wrong timing with those center backs. For example, here, this situation. You could have handled this situation that we just seen involved two ways. You could select Renato Sanchez and just cover uh, Benzema, because what is Foden really going to do? Or you select Kimpembe and actually just cover the run. Now we try to kind of predict a pass that was going to play, be played into the feet of Benzema instead of into uh, the way he was running um, as a through ball. And these through balls can be so assisted at times that it's just not worth risking it. You always want to just keep track as much as you can on FIFA with the players that are running, especially here as well in this situation. We should have just probably selected that midfielder. I don't know exactly who that is, but the one that we uh, that is closest to Dembele and pressure the ball holder if we didn't select Kimpembe. But now we did, so yeah, you don't want to select him to actually pressure Dembele, which is what's going to happen here. We should have just stayed with Dinola. Um But this was probably a little bit of a switching mistake, I guess. But I see some people actually, they just... Um, yeah, they just do run at people with their center backs. And that is something that you really don't want to do. Always try to keep your center backs in position as much as possible and let them cover the strikers. And also wrong pass selection. And this is pretty much, as you can see here, um, making the wrong pass. And that is with the input. Because for example, in this situation, we have this situation coming up right here where we should have probably went with an L1 triangle pass or maybe a double tap a triangle pass, but see this a lot. People actually using um, passes that don't, that don't have a chance of going through. In this case, for example, if you're cutting down on the wing into the box, you always wanna try and give a, a R1 X pass, a driven pass or a double tap X pass. Not a regular X pass, these are usually too slow. But also these kind of situations happen a lot where players uh, see somebody running and they just press a through ball at all times. And sometimes the through ball is just like not going to be as accurate right here. This, for example, situation, the player is moving, but he's not running at speed. And if somebody's covering it, you should probably always pass with an X or not. But then again, sprint touches. This is also something that I think happens too, uh, too much for a lot of players who play FIFA. In this situation, you should just take care of the ball. In this case, we reach Mbappe in a lot of space and he still has a lot of options. We don't need to run past the defense. Well, it would be nice if we could, but it's likely not gonna happen if the opponent actually is paying attention. So what you want to do, you will just want to take a touch dribble, maybe a bit towards his defender, which I believe is Varane, um, and see what the situation will give us. Because as you can see there, in this situation, we had lots of space on the other side. We had Messi with us in backup. And you just want to play this. You want to let the ball do the work for you. You don't want to force it by trying to run at people. So that sprinting button, don't always have it um, fully pressed down, right? In this case as well, we reach Fio Hernandez here and 
If we wouldn't take a sprint touch right now, we would just dribble upwards a bit and get a two-on-one situation with the right back of the uh, opponent. And that will actually give us space in which the opponent is forced to make a decision. And now we do take a sprint touch, the opponent notices it and just fully commits and makes a sliding tackle, which was actually quite good defending. But anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. A little informative tutorials coming up next. See you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.